everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. I have a, it's not a huge Dollar Tree haul today, but it's a good Dollar Tree haul. And my sister is visiting with me, so she's sitting Hi, here friend. next to me. And her name is Judy, so. Um, okay, I am just going to hop right in. I think I will start with... This was kind of in, we'll start with florals, get those out of the way. So nothing really um, impressive, it's just I needed it. So I picked up another bag of the Dollar Tree Spanish Moss. This goes a long, long way. It's, uh, let's see if it says, well, it says 2L, which must be liters. So that doesn't tell me anything, but there's quite a bit in there. It might tell you. I don't know metric, but um, that's quite a bit and it goes really a long way. So I picked up another bag of that. Actually, my sister gave me a good idea and this is a good um, uh, tip to pass along to you. Outside here in Florida, around my happy place, my gazebo, um, I have a lot of little bird houses. Most of them are decorative, but they have the hollow little hole, right? and the hornets and bees are making their homes in them so my sister said what she does is she puts a little um a little ball of spanish moss and stuffs the holes with some glue and that way the bees don't make a home so that's what i wanted to do with that pick that up i'm gonna stuff some little bird house holes so if you're having a problem with bees or hornets or anything taking up uh, residence in your little bird houses that's a good tip then I bought this in the floral section it was in there long oh I had all kinds of you know I can't remember the names of the flowers but this is actually they're calling it an artificial fern which makes me laugh because this looks nothing like a fern but that's what they're calling it artificial fern and but why I liked it is because I want to do a lab, a craft with lemon and I've been looking for lemon leaves and I thought that looks like lemon leaves. I don't know. So that's why I picked that up and in that same section I picked up I thought these were really really cute and I don't have anything like that in my stash. So what do they call these? They call it Queen Nan's lace. And this is in the pink. Let me turn my light. It's rose-ish. I would say more rose than, uh, or mauve more than pink, but very, very pretty color. And I picked it up in the white too, which they call baby's breath. And it's the same stuff. So here is this. Maybe it's not the same. Maybe the tops are a little bit different, you know, the way they do it, but Basically, they are, I don't know what they are, little dots glued onto greenery. But in the right floral arrangement, they'll add just the right touch. So I picked up those. So that's what I picked up in the floral. Oh, no, I have something else from the floral section, too. I picked up a new pair of garden gloves. And these are the rubber with the rubber on the inside where the palm of your hand goes. Nice quality for a dollar. I pick these up every year, and this year I wanted to, they were just so pretty and inviting, I just wanted a new pair. <laughs> but actually, my old ones are still working and that they last for a long time. Um, you know, I do simple gardening, so those work just fine. So those were in the garden section. And then I picked up this in the garden section. This is the last thing, and it's just, I can't stand it all the way up. Well, maybe I can, but it's just the metal um, flag. And I probably hauled this already, but then afterwards I thought of another craft I'd like to do and needed another one. So I picked up another one of those. It might have, a, the old one, the other one might have a different design, but I'm planning on probably repainting this anyway but um, so I'm going to be taking mine off of the stick which is really easy to do on the back as you can see just bend those you might need to pry it a little bit but it's not that hard um, and if you don't want to use it for crafts it makes a really pretty Memorial Day um, yard 
decoration or in a potted plant comes on a nice long stake so picked that up so that was all in the floral as you walk into the Dollar Tree that was all together Then in the Crafters Square section, um, if you are familiar with my channel, you'll know I hauled this wooden snake a little while ago, but I was looking for another one. And so I found them. It's really a cool little snake though. I'm going to be using it for crafts, but it really is, can you see it move? It's all like hinged and grooved. Um, and they had lizards with feet and they have fish and all different little things and they call this wood animals Pretty cool So you'll have to uh, stay tuned to see what I'm gonna do with that Because I'm gonna do a craft with it and then these have um, come and gone come and gone from my store and I was never really interested in them until now and then I just decided these are really a good size for crafting so oh and my battery power is not strong let me see if I can fix that we were crafting and un un um, plugging things there Okay, now we're good. We were crafting, my sister and I, and unplugging things to make room for other things, right? So anyways, they call these the wreath charm, and this is in the butterfly, and it comes with, um, it's on the MDF, I'll show you the back. There's the skew. It comes with that little twist tie, it's like a bread tie. It's metal, and it's coated, it's like a bread tie. And so this is the butterfly one. And then this one says choose happy. And I picked up that one also. But I figured we can fill in the hole. It's a good thickness. It's We could paint the back. There's just a lot we can do with this. But they give you the string or the wire to put this on a wreath, I guess. They're calling it a wreath charm. So... So choose happy and the butterfly. My sister got some of these too, so we plan on doing some fun things with those. And then I picked up boring old zip ties because as you know, my gazebo shredded and I'm in the middle of um, fix we fixed it with a tarp and canvas and I'm putting lights up and lots of projects going on and I needed more tie wraps so I picked those up at the Dollar Tree and these are the long ones they are 11 inch I did was able to get those really really long heavy duty ones one time and I should have picked up more I should have done it I don't know why I didn't so, but for now, these will do. So pick those up. But, you know, if you are in the market for zip ties, cable ties, what are they called? Cable ties. Go to the Dollar Tree first because these are just as good as any and you're going to pay a lot more than a dollar anywhere else for them. So, okay. You all know if you are familiar and you watch my channel regularly, this would be a great time for a thumbs up. And if you are not, um, welcome. My name is Jill and this is Angel Creations and you'll need to go back, sorry, go back and uh, watch all the replays. But you'll know I'm going on vacation soon and I've been collecting some things from the Dollar Tree for my trip. And I, I found another pair of kooky glasses that I just can't pass up. So, these are the cocktail glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see because there's cardboard, but um, let me take them off here and check these out so I can see how silly. So, I wanted to pick up enough for everybody to wear and have fun and, you know, take pictures. So, um, now I need some kind of guyish ones, too. See. Oh, you! What do you think? Okay. Those are those are all you. Yeah. Now, okay. Judy, you gotta. Sh I gotta show you. Okay. My sister. The cool 
crazies. Oops. The crazy Whee! sisters. <laughs> Island time. That's right. Vacation time. You don't know anyone on vacation, right? We don't have anyone to impress. So I got these. I thought they might touch my cheeks, but they don't. I think they do. They, they look beautiful. Right? I don't know. I always want to do that Madonna Vogue thing. But anyway. <laughs> um, so I picked those up for vacation. How fun are those? Too cute. How fun are you? <laughs> and then I found this. I don't know what they're calling it. Uh, they don't really have a name. It's kind of an odd thing. It's new at the Dollar Tree. And it is just this metal circular thing with lines. Almost looks like a grill topper. Only it would your food would fall through. But it comes with clips to pick to clip your uh, photos on. And I have, you can't see from here, but I have some other, I have, um, I'm losing the word for it, but I have some hanging baskets. Like this oh, would like be great. Mesh, mesh baskets. Yes, mesh hanging baskets. But if you had the Ikea hanging baskets, this would be cute. If you had enough room behind your stove, you could hang those from it. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of nifty. So I picked it up to show you. But I think that possibilities are endless with this. So pick that up. That was a that was in the fun find section. And also in the fun find section, I feel dark. There we go. Um, I found this is put out by the Bathory. And um, it's Let's Spa Boost Exfoliating Bath Cloth. And it looked really interesting. It came in a bright green, a purple, and a pink is all I found it in. But I'm giving you a close up. But if you look at this picture, I know I can never stay still, but if you look at this picture, you can see that, let's open it. Let's just open it and see what this is all about. It opens and you do your back with it. Like this. Okay. What else does it do? Hold on. Oh, okay. So it's pretty thin. It's pretty thin, but you hold it and then you put it and you do your back like this. I bet that's going to feel good. Especially when you're uh, a single girl and you don't have anyone to do your back for you. I do have that thing on a brush though. That's good too. But I'll try this out. It looks like it will dry really quick when you hang it up after your shower. And I don't know. If anybody has tried one of these, let me know in the comments what you think about it. It is different, that's for sure. And it is not a Greenbrier product. It is put out by the Bathory. And there you go. So that doesn't mean all Dollar Trees will get them. But if you have tried them, let me know in the comments what you think of yours. And last but not least, I have a pair of Converse sneakers that I'm really wanting to wear with no socks because I like the look of it that way, but I can't go without socks. So I've been trying every pair of socks that is really, really low so you can't even see them, but then the heel slides down. So again, on that same theme, I picked up these um, and they are athletic low cut socks, but they have I picked them up in a pink and a blue, but let me show you why. They have this, where's my camera, they have this little piece, and I was hoping that would keep it from going, from sliding down my heel. So I'm hopeful, because when I wear them that just go from here to here, um, they're sliding down in my shoe. And I'm just having the hardest time wearing my Converse 
sneakers so but I picked those up because they have they're really nice quality one thing I like to purchase at the Dollar Tree is socks can you see how they have the arch support built in maybe on this pair it's hard to see it's easy to feel whoops but it's kind of hard to see it starts here and it's a little different but it's tighter there because it's supposed to exercise in, you know whatever it does it's athletic socks any arch support and heel tab for added protection So everybody, that is my Dollar Tree haul for today, and thank you all for being with me. You all make such a difference, and I love when you comment and let me know what you think about things, and I am going to tell you today to put the word sister in the comments and I will enter you into our giveaway. I'm gonna do a gift card this time for when we reach 300 subscribers. Now, if you are not subscribed, you need to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so um, I, you can be entered into my giveaway. You can't win unless you are subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and YouTube will let you know each and every time I upload a new video. Okay, I hope everybody is well and stay well and be kind kind to everybody don't forget everybody has their set of situ their set of circumstances so remember smile be kind and until the next time I see you I'm gonna go have fun with my sister so um, be well bye now